guys, welcome to Cindy in LA. I visited Real Real, the reseller shop. There are two branches in LA. One is Mellow's, the other one is in Brentwood. I'm gonna compare both branches. First, Mellow's. Mellow's branch is bigger than Brentwood branch, so you can see more bags. From basic classic style to limited edition. For example, this is limited edition, over 50K. This is not even 100% leather, but it's really expensive. Same style Birkin is like 40K because it's a lighter color. This gold color Kelly is a 20K, which is twice of regular price. And this Constance bag is almost same as regular price. There were so many different kind color from neutral to pop colors. Usually dark color and neutral color get more price than bright color or pop color. Wow, this Chanel is 20K, maybe it's a limited edition. Trend is almost same as original price. Love these three pastel tone color bags. There were other brand bags like Louis Vuitton. The price was pretty good. I would buy bags from reseller shop when it's like limited edition so you cannot get now. Or something like cheaper than original price you can find. Love the yellow double bag. Love the 19 bag in white color and denim rectangular mini bag. This blue Dovive bag is almost like original price. There were lots of small leather goods as well. Love this cosmetic bag. Oh my gosh, this coin purse is so cute. Love this white classic wallet. The thing about Rizala shop is you can see this kind of rare item like Kelly pochette and Kelly cut. Now, move on to Brandwood branch. The Brandwood branch was smaller than Mellow's branch, but they had good items as well. You can see lots of rare items like this Pegasus Rodeo. I could see so many cute items. You can see all different brand bags. Also, they had separate section just for Chanel and Hermes. Oh my gosh, so many eye candies. From basic classic item to limited edition, there were everything. I could see many neutral colors. I wish this is my closet. There were also Dior, Valentino, Louis Vuitton, everything. What is your favorite bag? Choose one. I was surprised that they have totally different kind of collection compared to the other branch. Love this denim 19 walk. Enjoy all these eye candies. So I went to Doheny Greystone Park. It's in Beaver Hills near Sunset Boulevard. Park hour starts from 10 a.m. and it's open to public. Free parking, free admission. The Greystone Mansion was owned by the son of Edward Lawrence Doheny, who was rich with oil discovery. Edward Doheny's son was Ned Lawrence Doheny, Jr. The construction of the mansion began 1927 and it took three years to complete. After the completion, its value is over $3 million and the mansion alone itself costs over $1 million. Originally, there were stables, kennels, tennis court, and fire station, gatehouse, swimming pool, pavilion, but there was a tragedy. After family moved into the new home, the owner got murdered in five months. By the way, this place was used for many movie scenes. After the wife sold the land to the developer in Beaver Hills, a new owner never lived there but leased it for the movie scene. There were so many movies filmed in this location. The city of Beaver Hills purchased the property from the last owner, Mr. Crown, in 1965 for $1.3 million. Now it's open to public. Now move on to Getty Center. There are two Getty Center, one in Malibu, one in LA. The one in Malibu is Getty Villa. This one is Getty Center. It's bigger than Malibu one. I love this place. I came to see special exhibit, love the view. Sometimes I come here not for exhibit, just to enjoy the scenery. You can feel this open air space. 
the garden is like maze, it's beautiful. There's a cafe and restaurant. This is cafe, you can grab like sandwich and drinks. There's a top-notch restaurant as well. When it's really hot, you can get parasol. American artist Sai Twombly was inspired by art and poetry of ancient Greece and Rome. This exhibition explores Twombly's lifelong fascination with the ancient Mediterranean world. The building has four different sections, north, south, east, and west. So each building has different kind of exhibition. There were personal belongings related to the fantasy of the Middle Age, the castles, knight, battle, and imaginary creatures of the Middle Age perpetually inspire art, literature, photography, film, and reenactment. There were props from Disney movies, like Brothers Grimm to Game of Thrones. I wish I could take the picture of Disney props, but they didn't allow. Another day, I went to Chado Tea Room with my friends. I went to Hollywood branch, but there are three other branches as well in Pasadena, Los Angeles, and South Bay. Oh my gosh, these teacups are so pretty. So there are two different kinds of service you can choose. It starts from $25 per person and it includes cake, cookie, sandwich, and tea. We ordered five different kinds of tea. It was fun to try. Also, the sandwich was pretty good and the scone was amazing. And there's a macaroon as well. I love the ambience of the place as well. You can enjoy the tea time with your friend. The last part, Venice Muzzle Beach. You can see so many tourists. Also, the other part, there are so many people jogging and riding bike. There's a place you can rent bike, so you can try riding bike if you are traveling. Also, there are so many shops and cafe. Love the graffiti. It's like Venice Five. You know, many people are working out like Arnold Schwarzenegger when he was young. Love the vibe of the Venice beach. Hope you enjoyed my video today. And see you soon. Bye.